Hi guys, this video is about a the fog lights not working on a PT Cruiser. Thought I'd share what I found with other PT Cruiser owners. Alright, on the switch, you have to pull out the, um, the end of the switch, get the fog lights to turn on, push it in from go out. It has to be either in parking light position or headlight on position to be able to pull out. What there is in here is this little lever that on the end of that little rod that moves in and out for the switch the lever will move in and out push sorry it's actually backwards pushes in and out so that's supposed to raise up and down and on this part of the, the board what's supposed to happen is there's supposed to be this little contact here on a spring that moves in and out with that lever. Now in my unit for some reason it is stuck. You can see there's a slotted channel on the side for that to be able to float up and down with the spring. It's just little contact points for a circuit right there. See that hole? That contact point when you pull the switch out the little lever is supposed to move backwards, allow that spring to come up, closing the circuit for pins 13 and 14. There are these two pins right here, and that will turn on your lights. So when this is all together, you have all your pins in here. Up here it says pin 1, down here it says pin 11, right here, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if you have a multimeter with a continuity nudity tester, some people call it ringing out the circuit, you put, clip your lead to that one and that one, make sure you're not touching each other, and you pull that switch out, it should beep, or should show no resistance. But what, a, what, what seems to happen, what seems to happen with these, is because all that current is going through this little you know cir circuit thin circuit here and the thin contact point right there that's supposed to float on that spring it, it overheats um, what is the fuse for that 15 amp fuse I believe that's a lot of current to go through just a little circuit board um, so what I believe happens is it overheats maybe if that springs not pressing quite hard enough or maybe you have a bulb going bad, or you know maybe a possible short or something like that. But it's it's a high, kind of a high current situation for this this little circuit board. So what, what looks like happened on this one is this little plunger. It's supposed to poke through that hole from the backside. Not if you look at it, looks melted, right? Look at that. That doesn't look quite symmetrical the right way. It's offset. So you can see that little that little nipple on the top is not centered with the post. So that looks like it it was definitely overheated and melted so don't do what I did looking at the fog lights back looking at the lamps the circuits working your whole way through the fuse block by the engine up underneath the dash and then finally taking the um, the simple two screw cover around the steering wheel and then unplugging the plug on the back of this um, there's those little red clips you move back pinch it remove the plug and on pins 13 and 14 on that plug which they're, they're marked it's uh, see a pink with a light green stripe and a light blue wire. That's the circuit for the fog lights. If you take just a, a paper clip and put it in those the two slots for those two pins on those two wires, you'll probably get your fog lights to turn on, and that's how you can test to see that the switch is, is bad. So I went to the junkyard, and the one I pulled out of the junkyard, luckily I took my meter with me, put it on pins 13 and 14, pulled the switch out, nothing. Same thing must have happened that one. Went to another PT Cruiser in the junkyard, pulled it out, tested it, it worked fine, slapped back in the car. Now I can go get it inspected because in Pennsylvania here, if you have fog lights on your car, they have to work to pass inspection. So, that's what I found with my PT Cruiser and the fog lights not working. So, my tip is, start at the steering wheel column, unplug that connector on the back of this. You don't even have to remove this. There's just two screws up underneath the... Uh, the shroud around the, st the steering wheel 
to access the plug on the back of here, pull that off, put a jumper between the, the light pink with a green light green stripe on it wire and the light blue wire right next to it. And if you jumper that, even with the keys out of the ignition, it, it uh, your fog light should turn on. And that's how you test every other part of the circuit and try to determine if it's the fog light switch or not. And these units, I think, I don't know, they might be 75, around 75 bucks to 100 bucks, maybe ordering from the parts store. Junkyard only cost me $14. I like pulling my own stuff. It's sort of like recycling. I'm big on recycling, reusing, stuff like that. But uh, if you have to buy it new, you don't have a U-Pull-It junkyard around your place, um, always look for coupon codes too. On Retail Me Not, always some kind of coupon code to use on Advance Auto. It's great. It's my favorite store to buy auto parts from due to those uh, coupon codes. So good luck. Don't just yank your fog lights out to pass inspection. It could be the switch. It is a simple fix. You can do it yourself easily. Like I said, there's just two Phillip long screws that hold the shroud on around the steering wheel cover. And this one had two um, torque screws on top of it holding it in place. Just two screws. And the whole the whole unit pops right out. You have to unplug, you know, what two wires, I believe it is, <clears throat> and it's a real simple swap. But if you pull one from the junkyard, make sure you ring out pins 13, 14, pull the switch out, make sure it still works, and that circuit isn't isn't uh, overheated and melted. Simple simple fix for yourself. So good luck.